All right, so this is Crow Revel. Uh, we're back with some more FTL strategies. Uh, this time we will be looking at easy mode with advanced edition content enabled flagship fights. Uh, the ship I will be using for uh, this tutorial is going to be the Slug B. Uh, this way I was able, I can't really edit videos and this seemed like an easier way of doing things, which is I needed to find a ship that was actually missing a typically uh, what is found to be a starting system. Uh, this ship doesn't come with a med bay, nor a clone bay. Uh, it just comes with a healing bomb, and that's allowed us to procure four of the five other systems. Uh, it starts with teleporter. We have also have cloaking, mind control, hacking, Mind control and hacking being new to the advanced edition. And uh, let's see, what else do we have here? So I have a halberd beam, whole laser three, heavy laser one. We can go ahead and sort of look over that in here. So whole laser, one of the best weapons in the game. Three power, 17 seconds, two damage beam weapon. Whole Laser 2, again, a very strong weapon in the game. For 15 seconds, it fires three projectiles. Uh, incredibly fast projectiles. I really like this weapon as well, as do I like the Heavy Laser. Nine second charge, one power, does two damage. Uh, it's about a 30% chance it causes a fire or a breach. Hull la Smash Laser 2 is also incredibly likely to cause breaches. I should say incredibly likely, it's likely to cause breaches. And this is our heal burst, which is what we've been using to uh, heal our crew to get us to this point. Uh, we have a full crew, three slugs, Mantis, NG, two Zoltans, and a rock. Uh, my Mantis and the rock are my two boarders. Uh, and we are currently just sitting outside our base, waiting on the, uh, we're gonna jump into the flagship and try to initiate a couple phase ones, showing uh, off a couple strats. Now, before we get to the flagship, hmm, should I go, all right. Let's go ahead, we're gonna jump to the flagship, sort of talk about uh, what the flagship has and individual strategies against the flagship and then strategies in conjunction. It's gonna be sketchy because in advanced edition, there are a couple changes to the flagship. So let's go ahead and jump to the flagship and we'll pause and talk about those. All right, so here we are, the rebel flagship. Uh, we have to destroy this monstrosity of Federation fleet for a chance of surviving. There is no turning back. All right, and we're gonna pause right now. Uh, if you have, or if you're familiar with the game on normal, easy, or I'm sorry, on easy mode vanilla, uh, you saw my last video, you'll see that there's already a couple distinct differences in this flagship fight. First off, it has level four shields instead of three. Uh, second, you will notice that it comes with hacking in phase one. And this is a level three hack. So uh, let's go over what this flagship has. Here is an ion cannon. It uh, has three power, uh, I'm sorry, it has a three, I guess, yeah, up, it's been upgraded to a level three ion cannon, but it actually only requires one power to run. Uh, it fires three one damage ion projectiles. Uh, this is a laser cannon. It, it also has been upgraded to a level three. So it has three power bars, but it only requires one to run. Uh, it fires three one damage lasers. The infamous missile launcher. Uh, it fires three one damage missiles. One power, it only requires one power to run, uh, but has two buffer points as well. And this is a halberd beam that only costs one power, much slower though. Again, three power system that only takes one power to run. Uh, we do have level three piloting. Level four, sh t t level four shields, so a total of eight power in shields. Uh, here it is, the level three hack, level two cloaking, doors, a level three med bay, level three oxygen, and uh, level two engines.
Okay, so first let's talk about the system I don't have, which is drone control. All right, drone control. Uh, drone control is arguably the weakest system in FTL. Uh, and first, it sort of loses its luster because hacking is so ridiculously strong and uses up drone parts. Uh, the best drone is the Defense Drone 1, which has a place in the flagship fight in that it can uh, shoot down the missiles from the launcher, and in Phase 2 it can shoot down a boarding drone. Now, you could also use a Defense Drone in Phase 1 off the bat to attempt to shoot down this hack, it's probably considered a bad idea to do that. Uh, the hacking that fires times with its cloaking, and if it hits your weapon system, and you have a fairly fast weapon system, we don't actually, but if you did have a fast weapon system, uh, you sort of want that hacking to time with the ship's cloak because you couldn't charge at your weapons there anyways, and it sort of mitigates its effect. Uh... And also, you sort of don't want to start going, and if you're able to shoot down the hack for a few turns, because it will fire, uh, it has eight drone parts to attempt to hit you with a hack, you could be attempting one strategy, and then suddenly it stops working. Because it takes out your teleporter, it takes out a cloak, or your mind control, or whatever it is, and all your plans are kind of thrown out the window. So, in my opinion, it does actually seem best that we just let the flat, the uh, hack hit us and go from there. Uh, combat drones are pretty terrible against the flagship. Uh, you might have seen a Combat 2 drone in action if you've never used one yourself, and they seem terrifying when the AI uses them. They are less so when used by the player. Uh, the four power investment is just not worthwhile. Combat 2, Combat 1 uh, is okay for ish but we can't use it to target and there's so many rooms that we would want it to hit uh, I've occasionally used it in a desperation mode just because I needed more projectiles but uh, normally that's not the way to go uh, boarding drone is awful there's just too much crew to deal with ion intruder is completely unpredictable where it's gonna land uh, yeah, so uh, I also want to talk about the difference between Defense 1 and Defense 2. Typically you want the Defense 1 because the Defense 1 doesn't shoot regular projectiles and you want it to focus on taking down missiles and the boarding drone. Sorry. Yeah, you want to take missiles and boarding drones and you don't want it to get distracted by shots that your shields are most likely going to be able to take care of on their own. So uh, with that, we kind of got over uh, drone control. Okay. Uh, teleporter. Now, teleporter is actually still strong. Uh, it's less strong in hard mode, which I, I might address at certain points, but it's incredibly strong in the f easy and even normal modes of the flagship fight. What it does is it allows us to board directly into these rooms and take out the operators and those systems. And that makes them, and those play, those uh, NPCs don't respawn during uh, uh, the phase two and phase three of the fight. So that means that, you know, you're able to remove this individual from the turret then there's no one left to repair it. In hard mode, this actually is not as viable as a strategy because these two there's actually a room here and here that connects both the laser turret and the missile turret. So I had to kind of come up with different strategies in hard mode. And hopefully we'll be able to address them. Again, we're sort of at the, ba uh, the uh, mercy of RNG with where the hack lands and what strategies it allows me to use in the flagship fight. But uh, yeah, we can use teleporting individually. It's very strong. If we had a really strong boarding party, we could also take out the um, med bay and just board regularly. Enemy, or the NPCs on the ship are never trained in combat or any other skills. They cannot gain training. So that means as long as you have normal crew, so non-Zoltans, non-NGs, you win every one-on-one -on -one fight.
And it's particularly good to be able to take out the enemy crew because in phase three, it gets a teleporter and everybody on the ship can potentially board yours, save one crew member. So we'd be looking at one, two, three, four, five, six potential boarders. And that can be uh, a pretty rough time. Okay, so mind control is new. Mind control is in the advanced edition. It temporarily takes control of an enemy and brings them on our side. They operate like a drone. We can't control them. We can't tell them where they move. They just sort of sit in that room and fight or uh, attack the system. Uh, mind control is probably strongest when used to uh, mind control the pilot on the enemy ship and that uh, will lower its evasion to uh, whatever the autopilot is. So with level one, it completely drops the evasion. Uh, if they have a level two piloting, their evasion drops by half. By level, th If they have a level three piloting, then it drops by 20%. And right now we're only dealing with uh, level 20% uh, evasion at max. Uh, you can also use it to if you're light on boarding, which we would be since we only have a two-person uh, two teleporter instead of a quad teleporter, uh, mind control can help turn the tide in battles, even up the odds, where they're actually, you know, it's plus one fighter for you, minus one for them. And you also can use it to mind control somebody in a room to prevent them from doing repairs, as well as they have to be killed before anybody else in the room is able to do repairs. Uh, and mind control anybody takes them off their station so they lose that manning bonus. <laughs> okay, and hacking. Uh, hacking outside of shields is the most powerful ability or is the most powerful system in FTL. It even rivals cloaking. Uh, what it does is it temporarily disables a system. At level 1, it does it for 4 seconds. At 2, it's 7 seconds. And at 3, it's 10 seconds. A level 3 hack, for example, can drain 4 shields. If used on piloting or engines, hacking takes those system, uh, drops evasion down to 0. Uh, on cloaking, it forces the ship out of cloaking. On a weapon, it drains its power or its charge for the duration of the hack. Uh, it will break a hack, and on a med bay, it will actually do damage to anybody in the med bay. I'm sorry, enemy crew in the med bay. That's an important distinction. If you're in the med bay, you're fine. Uh, also, it does slow down repairs, as well as it lets you gain access to the doors that that room is, is attached to, so that your crew can move freely through any room that you have hacked while enemies have to break down the doors. Uh, let's see, oh, haven't talked about uh, cloaking. Where's my little drone uh, control? Uh, there's cloaking, just making sure. Uh, so cloaking, yeah, cloaking temporarily increases our evasion for, by 60%. At level 1, that at hack, it lasts for like 5 seconds. Uh, I think level 2 is 10, level 3 is 15, and then it has a 20 second cooldown. Uh, it's amazing, the uh, normally used is to dodge missiles as well as the, uh, in the flagship fight, the events. In phase 2, there's a drone event where a swarm of drones comes at us, and in phase 3, there's a, a series of laser projectiles that is fired at once. Uh, so those are the systems we have going. Uh, let's go ahead and start this and see... Turn the cloaking off here. Uh, what the flagship is going to do, like I said, it should immediately cloak with its level 2 cloak and a level 3 hack will come at us and from there we'll sort of determine how it is we're going to take down the enemy ship. Okay, teleporter. Cloaking. Okay. 
All right, so our, t our teleporter is currently disabled. That means uh, when the teleporter is hacked, we can't teleport to ships, and when we're on opposing ships, it actually pulls us back. This is unfortunate. It, of course, it clearly is going to hamper a lot of our boarding strategies. So I guess the first thing I want to do uh, strategy-wise, let's not do the mind control thing right now, is uh, cloaking and hacking. Let's get the uh, level two hack, and we'll take that to their missiles. Okay. In, if you have cloaking and you have hacking, we will now no longer take any damage from this missile system at all. Uh, while this is going on, I'll actually try boarding in here. Don't know how far I'll get by killing that crew member and taking their ion weapon down. Okay, so this cannon will fire. Its missile is almost charged. We'll just cloak the uh, first wave of it. Our weapons are slowly charging. As long as we have a level two hack though. Okay, we killed the crew. Oh, so this is sort of uh, fortuitous. Because they're cloaked, they can't actually hack our crew back. It's uh, blocked by the uh, cloaking. Okay, let's hack down their missile system. All right, they brought our guys back. And now our cloak is back up. So uh, we are able to continuously do this uh, throughout the duration of this fight. And we are completely safe from doing the, taking damage from this missile system. Uh, it's a bit wasteful, this setup right here on this particular ship, particularly with boarding strats, uh, because the rooms are already divided from the ship. However, in hard mode, if this room is connected, this is actually the, the premier boarding strategy you want to, to utilize. Uh, because crew members could just keep going into this room and doing repairs on the system, by hacking it, we could con we conceivably control that door to the room. So we can kill crew members when they try to escape to the med bay. You re-engage the hack to lock the doors down, finish them off, then you can board back and continue and repeat as often as possible, continuously damage the system and killing crew, and slowly but surely killing off the crew for the uh, first phase of the flagship fights. Uh, I can't time in to actually uh, teleport over there. Okay, so we can't teleport over. That's all right. We have a backup strategy now. Like I said, I sort of wasted the hack. I really using it offensively on shields or um, piloting to reduce evasion to ensure that our shots hit would be way more effective. Okay, we're gonna cloak that down again or hack that down again. Now, one interesting thing that we can do though is if we add mind control with teleport. Okay, we don't really need hacking for this part anymore. Okay, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. Okay, we have our teleporter back. What we can do now is we can actually mind control enemy units such as this. And then we actually can use teleporter on them and... Oh, sorry, that was supposed to be a return teleport. I misclicked. Hmm. Okay, this is uh, perhaps not good. In fact, I know this is good, not good. Okay, so I was able to actually get my heal bomb in there, heal some of my crew. I might still be able to survive this and get my crew back. And we'll have to uh, try that again.
Okay. So they forced him back. This is fine. Uh, we'll hack down the missile again. We'll just heal bomb them. Our heal bomb can't miss our own crew members. Should be doing something a little bit more productive. That's all right. I just actually just uh, move them out of there and that prevents that from happening again. Uh, missile system charging. We'll be able to cloak under it. Do I have my missile pack back on? Okay, let's try the uh, abduction strategy here uh, again. Retrieve crew member. Okay, there. So this time, uh, we didn't mess up. We were actually able to bring a crew member on board our ship. Pack down the missile system. Our mind control breaks off, and now we just murder them. And we can use this strategy to essentially pluck every single person off their ship and just kill them. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can sort of do with this setup to show you uh, anything else. Peggy and my control, we already sort of use uh, teleporting strats as well here. Uh, I kind of messed up my little name things. That's unfortunate. All right. So yeah, we can just keep doing this. It's again, it's very strong on this. Uh, on the first two layouts on the easy normal mode. Uh, if they hadn't hacked our teleporter, we could just easily, like I said, destroy these two systems, pull every single one of their crew members onto our ship, and then kill them outright. So that sort of shows you uh, how hacking and cloaking can shut down the missile system even on hard difficulty, uh, how you can use a teleporter and mind control to steal crew. Uh, we're gonna jump away from the fight now. See, do I want to take another fight before that one? Okay, we'll just go to the base. Mm -hmm. Why is cloaking there? Okay. Wait for the flagship, phase one, take two. Okay, so once again, we're going to wait to see what they actually hack. Ah, uh, really? Doesn't know I'm trying to uh, do a demonstration here. Oh, something I also should mention, uh, level two oxygen. The reason we actually have level two oxygen is a level three hack on a level one oxygen can potentially uh, kill everyone on your ship. Okay. Uh, no boarding strategies this time, it seems, so let's go ahead and do offensive weapon strategies here. Shame. Now, when determining if you want to hack shields or... Uh, when determining whether you want to hack shields or piloting, uh, it's really dependent on the projectiles. We only have four projectiles, really. Uh, we have three from the whole laser and one from the heavy laser. So we're going to have to hack shields to be relevant here. But that's fine because we have a really strong beam weapon and that's gonna help out significantly. Okay, so we'll send that over there. And again, this is going, this uh, lasts for 10 seconds. Our halberd beam takes about 17 seconds to charge. So we'll give it about halfway full before we uh, start draining. We wanna be careful though uh, we were a little bit slow on this hack, time-wise. We don't want it to actually cloak uh, before our weapons are ready to uh, fire. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and cloak under the missile system here. Okay, just before it's done doing the full hack, we can now determine where we actually want our shots to hit to take down systems. I want at least one heavy laser here at this weapon at the missile system since I want to do three damage to it. As my halberd beam is going to be placed here. So that means the halberd beam will do two damage to the piloting, two to shields, and then it does two damage to the weapons. And my heavy laser doing two damage to the weapons, uh, to this missile system, will in fact take it offline. And the repair time will buy us, uh, should buy us enough time between that and the missiles having to fire again that our cloaking actually does come back online. The reason we're also doing this slight delay though is that we want the halberd beam to activate to do two damage to the piloting. By doing so, the autopilot is turned off. And then what we can do is mind control the pilot. With our hack in place, there won't be anybody in piloting save the mind controlled NPC, which means its evasion will effectively be zero. Thus, uh, our shot from the whole laser three cannot be stopped. Now, depending on what your situation, what your hack is, how everything's gone thus far, uh, will determine exactly where you want to shoot the whole laser at. If you're going for a straight DPS, you could just hit them in the shields three times. They're going to take two from the beam. Uh, that's going to really... Uh, so that's going to be five damage to their shields. They're going to be down to one shield bubble. You could do it to their cloaking. Try and take that offline. You'll get it back online to a level one cloak and then do it instantly. So that's going to cut the their typical cloak time from from 10 seconds to five seconds. Uh, if you had a really nasty hack that you want to uh, deal with, then you could just shoot them and hacking as well. Uh, uh, just because we're gonna do, like I said, pretty much straight damage, we'll go ahead and just take down their uh, cloaking. Mind control the pilot. Evasion is effectively zero now. Okay, and we've taken the missile system offline. We've taken their cloaking offline. Their uh, pilot's going crazy here, hitting their system. Oh wow! So they, uh, that's funny. They, the hack actually brought their pilot on board. Now, the evasion's still down, we... Okay, no one's actually repairing uh, cloaking here. That's uh, good for us. So we are pretty much at mercy. We could shoot down the shields. Okay, I'm just gonna vent the oxygen. Yeah, it's gonna take him too long to actually do much damage. Uh, we could beam here if we wanted to. Uh, our hack is actually, so our hack is less than 10 seconds before it comes back online. But you see, we're completely safe right now. Uh, we've wrecked their shields to a large extent. I could easily, like I said, how we're being right now, do another, I could do three damage that way. Two, three, or we could do four damage here. Uh, and that would effectively we're going to kill the flagship okay so I'm going to jump away from the base we'll take this fight here and then we'll jump back and start phase 3 or phase 1 one more time hopefully we actually don't get hacked in uh, our teleporter so we can use the teleporting strategies a little bit better to so see what that actually looks like All right, so let's go ahead. We're, we have four shots here, so we're gonna hack evasion. Shouldn't take too long. Uh-huh. 
level one hack will be sufficient. Why is my Howard being a little weird? Yeah, I would like to hit four rooms. Thank you. Heal my two injured crew members. Sixty-seven scrap. Uh, what can we do with that? I guess we could prove our. Sure. Why not? Okay, let's go back to the flagship before it destroys the base. Haha! -ha! We're back again. Third time. Okay, they hacked our hacking. That's a little bit icky. So in this situation, if you're using hacking and cloaking to displace its uh, missile system, whatever is the system they hack will come back online just before their missiles fire. And that's the system you want to use to keep the timing mean right. So if they hacked our hacking, we'll actually hack the missiles first before we would cloak under them. And then that should uh, fix the timing uh, as we need it to. Okay, uh, so we can just board in here. Uh, don't want to show you. Uh, we can also hack their hacking and their hacking would essentially explode and then hit another part of the ship. If you, let's say you don't have a lot of defenses and really want to take the missile system down, you like don't have cloaking, uh, you don't have a defense drone some, for some reason, but you do want to kill as much crew as possible, uh, you can board into the med bay. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take some damage doing this strategy. Hopefully not too, too much. I need the uh, their hack to stop though. Oh. And we could actually, I was going to board in the mid bay and then it like didn't actually happen. And now I'm sad. So what I should have done there is just board into the missile system and take that offline. Okay, I don't have time to actually do a shield hack, so we'll do a uh, engine hack. Uh, we could mind control them; uh, it would reduce the engines a considerable amount. So if we didn't have a full power engine, this will sort of function. Uh, we still get to do decent amount of damage. Actually, let's not have him repair. Yeah, they just blew up our hack. Okay, we got that offline. Go ahead, bring our borders back. Okay, so we dealt two damage and the mind control was actually... Uh, the weapon fired slow enough that mind control actually did the... Uh, <laughs> last bar of damage for us so the missile system's down hooray <laughs> all right i'm trying to think is there any other kind of cool hacking stuff i can try and do i suppose i guess hacking our hacking uh you could technically also try and go for an oxygen kill, but that's going to kill everybody off. You normally don't want to do that because the AI takes over and just starts repairing things. And that's like a really bad time. We actually have all the time in the world as long as this missile system is, isn't up as well as the ion. We are fairly safe. Uh, then you had to go and repair them. 
Okay, but our cloaking's back online, so we're okay. So what, see, once you understand, like, all the little systems, the flagship doesn't seem nearly as intimidating. Uh, we'll go ahead and mind control them back. Okay, this I'm going to want to power up because I'm probably going to want to bring them back before this goes the full duration. Okay, wait till the uh, other crew member gets in there. And we can do a level 2 hack of the med bay. And they'll actually try to run away instead of fighting. Oh my gosh, they're actually not running away. That's crazy. I've actually never seen them stand and fight in this situation. Okay, there. So if you had like a four-person teleporter, you could easily do, use this strategy to board in four. Their four crew would come try to, you know, kill your guys. You'd kill them off instantly, and then you'd have your four crew just beating mercilessly uh, on the med bay, take it offline, and then you could just proceed to kill the rest of their crew. Oh, they blew up my hack again. All right, we'll go ahead and just bring them back. Heal bomb them. Probably should turn the oxygen back on. All right, we're gonna do a legit hack and actually destroy the ship now. Uh, I'm just going to do this hack and missiles I'm not too concerned about. Hack evasion. Fire everything we can. Take the missiles off the line one more time. Oh, I didn't unfortunately get there in time. We'll mind control the uh, person who's trying to do repairs. And that way the shields don't come back online, so our projectiles are much stronger. Also, if you weren't aware, uh, if their pilot or anybody in the room is fixing something, their, their bonus for manning the station comes offline, so we saw that their evasion was actually like 10%. Oh, they got the dodges in. That's cool. Our cloak is back up. Okay. So that's phase one. 30 scrap. Um, yeah, no real improvements we can do with our ship here. Okay, so phase two of the flagship fight is going to, to lose the hacking, the doors, and the cloaking, but it's going to get a fairly nasty drone system. Uh, we also want to actually wait at the base during this part uh, because in phase three you actually want to jump into the flagship. That way, if something goes bad in phase three, particularly when taking on a bunch of boarders, you have the base to jump back to. It's always safe to jump back to. It never gets overtaken. Okay, so we chased down the flagship by staying right where we were, and now it has this gross drone system. It has a boarding drone, a beam drone one, combat drone one, and also a defense drone. Uh... Hacking. Hacking is really the only thing worth talking about, I feel, for this. And, oh no, I guess we can also talk about cloaking. So the main hacking options are shields and drones. If you have a solid defense but weak offense, hacking shields uh, is probably going to be the best, is going to be the best option for us. Uh, lowering that four projectile threshold. Uh, the evasion's still going to be pretty low. They only have level three engines in phase three. 
Uh, we could also uh, boister that by mind controlling the pilot before our shots hit. And that's technically what we have. If you have a uh, weak defense but fairly strong offense, you can actually uh, hack their drones. So I think I can actually show you what that's like. Yeah, we can jump here and then jump back, hopefully survive this. So even though our offense is weak, let's go to the drones first. It's more defensive oriented. And there's probably a trick where you could wait for the drone to be on the other side of the ship of what you're trying to shoot at. But we're going to wait to... Okay, so we saw the drone turned its head. And uh, I don't think it's going to work. You typically depower it. And the drone likes to shoot where the, sh the drone our hack is going versus where our hack is. Okay, so let's try that again. Yeah, so we have this nasty border that we have to deal with. He's really gross. Okay, there's the defense drone missing. All right, so let's crank this up to uh, level three. Okay, now you see all their drones start going crazy. One. Do we only blow up one? Okay, we blew up the defense drone as well. Okay, so we sort of lucked out that all of our shots hit without actually having to mind control here. We can now halberd beam through mind control to slow down uh, the repairs here. Or uh, let's go ahead and actually mind control the missile person since that worked so well last time and then cloak under the uh, volley. Yeah. Now, normally you'd want to cloak under the event because there's all these projectiles that are being shot at the same time. Uh, we do have level four shields, pretty decent engines, and the two drones, the attacking drones are, well, at least the combat drone one is offline. So it makes the uh, event phase with all the drones show up a lot less scary. So here they come now. Okay, we only have a one powered power beam, that's fine. Poorly timed it though. Wow, it boarded right back in the piloting, you jerk. Okay, just sort of waiting for the hack to come back online. And then again, we could hack the drones apart. Again, it only has about eight drone parts, so two, three hacks, they're toast. All right, we can cloak under that. Uh, I want to jump and reset it to be a more offensive setup, because that's what we need. Our defenses are definitely fine. Uh, so it's gonna be a bit of a dive, that's okay. All right, so we want to cloak the ASB here. Should really maximize my oxygen levels. All right, hold on a second. So maximize oxygen to level two, that will nullify the breach. Oh, they had boarding. Let's mind control the boarders and then leave the room so they fight each other. Uh, I need my NG to go do repairs. I guess we can use the rock as well to speed that up. We're just trying to run away from this fight, which of course isn't happening because I'm not piloting right now. All right, so this has gone sideways. That's unfortunate. Okay, got the repairs there done. Ordered again, gross. 
All right, here's the thing we actually have to cloak. I'm gonna delay slightly before it fires. Beams don't break cloaking, so we're fine here. All right, we missed that shot. I actually need my heal bomb online to heal crew since I don't have, you know, a med bay. Med bays are kind of neat. Okay, NG go there. Slug go there. You're my pilot. Okay. Let's just jump back to the flagship fight a normal fight this time. We're going to hack their shields. Okay, so I'm just trying to make sure I have track of everybody. Cool. Okay, so we depower hacking to level one, firing up their shields. Turn it off, wait for the shot to sail by, turn it on, get the connection, power it to full. Gonna wait on that. Okay, got boarded in the weapons. That's cool, we do have four crew. Go ahead and open all the doors to mitigate the breach to some extent. Okay, we're gonna start hacking now. You might actually be, I don't know if we can actually shoot fast enough that we can like take down the missile system before it fires. Okay, let's cut from here to here we'll start hopefully that times out enough for us mind control the pilot make sure everything hits okay so for the drone surge if you want to do a proper cloaking you actually want to cloak at the beginning of it or before it starts so as soon as we see the drones uh it's a timing issue they actually show up a it's like a, they show up every 20 seconds and the cooldown time for the uh, cloak is 20 seconds. But then it also runs for five seconds. So, uh, yep, a little cloak right now. Put everyone in their starting positions. All right, my pilot's a little beat up, a little healing bomb then. Uh, if you didn't know, you can't miss bombing your own ship. He got boarded yet again. Very persistent drone. Okay, but we now see that the piloting's completely offline. So we'll do all the projectiles here. Would be great if we start a breach or a fire and get some crew kills. Is there anything I want to hack right now? No. Don't actually even need to hit the uh, there, so uh, we'll just do shields through med bay. Uh, we'll send those two to deal with the uh, unwanted guest. Hack the bubble down again. All right, so that's a pretty clean fight there. Okay, let's close the doors, move these guys out from there. Go ahead, the NG can repair it relatively quickly. We'll heal up the crew with our bomb. One, two, three, four. Oh no, we took a damage. That's kind of gross. 
All right, so yeah, now we're gonna jump into the flagship fight. Have some new scrap to spend. Uh, let's go ahead and do it on doors. Uh, it's worth noting, I totally forgot about this in regards to uh, mind control. Uh, am I gonna put up a little window? Uh, to mind control on the enemy ship, you need level two sensors upgraded, level one sensors manned, uh, life form uh, sensor augment, or life form scanner augment, or just a slug. All right, so now we're gonna jump into the flagship. That way we have that safe jump to go back to for phase three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so they this person will always stay on the ship, so they actually have one, two, three, four, five potential borders here. We have to get through this super Zoltan shield. It's gross, it takes 10 hits. Yeah, we can't hack, we can't mind control through it. It also has mind control, that's the uh, difference uh, from advanced edition to uh, vanilla uh, but you only need a level one mind control to cancel out their level three mind control all right so the first series of borders are going to come all right we have these two really cool crew members who are fully trained they're going to mop the floor with those guys and what's really good is uh, enemy AI like to try and join previous borders, so wherever they land on the ship, they're going to try to go here, which is away from most of our important systems. Uh, we can just auto fire everything. Uh, so, how beam weapons work against this, the uh, Zoltan shield, it deals like normal damage, as if there wasn't uh, the Zoltan shields or shields themselves. Let me see if I can phrase that better. Our helper beam is going to do two damage for every room it quote unquote hits, even though it's not hitting rooms. So it actually doesn't matter where you hit it on the ship, it's just that it hits the most ma maximum number of rooms, four being the max in this current configuration of the flagship fight. Pretty sure. Yeah, three, four, so. That gives us eight damage to these shield, whole laser, and the heavy laser. With a little bit of luck, we should, uh, we could potentially one cycle it. And if we don't miss. Okay, we don't evade these missiles here. These missiles time perfectly with the projectile event, and so our cloaking will be most effective if we cloak during the event. So we're just gonna have to take these missiles on. Now, that's, yeah, that's sort of if you're kind of sticking it out. Another option is if you have a level three cloak, is you kind of cloak now, you'll cloak through like the double cycles, you'll unbreak, you'll break out of cloak, you'll get boarded by two more crew members, and then you just hop away to the base and deal with them. Okay, uh, so hit an empty room, one dodge, and we only really need level one cloaking. So this is fine. All right, someone got mind control. Now they're trying to join the mind control again. So again, if this was particularly nasty, it doesn't feel very nasty right now. Uh, we can just go ahead and jump to the base. All right, so here's where we actually, oh yeah, heal bomb my own guys, and now we cloak. There we go. All right, hopefully I don't actually have to use my Howard Beam to take this down anymore because of the charge time. Excellent. Once again, we'll just go ahead and hack the shields. Uh, since we have mind control, I don't feel like you have to angle it to deal damage through mind control. Just gonna eat some missiles. And... Hmm, Albert being through piloting shields in the missile system here. A couple more at the uh, missile system. And the rest at shields. So because there's actually still crew on board, the AI doesn't take over. 
It's why on uh, most boarding strategies, this guy is left alive. So once we do two damage to the piloting, auto piloting, once again, it's offline, all of our shots hit. Go ahead. Oh, they might control that guy. That's not cool. They're buddies, man. Here comes another event. Go ahead, cloak into that. And now we can just beam through the rest of the ship. And that's game. Oh, I got cocky and missed a room. It's the end. Uh, I could potentially just jump back to base, but I don't really have any other strategies against uh, this phase. You just have to do a bunch of damage and survive the borders. And we did that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much like I said, the relatively standard strategies, how to use hacking effectively, uh, some of the boarding things, how to use mind control effectively. Uh, the abduction strat is, if you have teleporter and mind control against the flagship, you can pretty much win every single fight with relative ease, minus them being jerks about their hacking like they always were. Uh, Staying at the base for phase two, so you can jump to phase three. So you can just, in, if you they have a dumb number of borders, uh, is a very strong strategy. A lot of people sort of miss out on that uh, if you can't kill a lot of crew. So that's uh, that's another aspect of it's normally phase one because it doesn't have the events that you're able to typically kill off as much crew as possible. It's worth probably taking some hull damage. To, uh, to do so just because on harder missions yeah you don't like getting boarded by like you know 8 10 uh, NPCs but anyways I'm going to end it there uh, let's see how that run ended up with 42 41 okay so yeah that's the end of easy advanced edition strategies as far as I can understand, I don't think there's much of a difference in the flagship fight between uh, easy and normal. And most of the, like all the strategies we saw here will still work with all the timing. So if you find it useful, that's great. Um, I don't currently have any other tutorial videos planned. I think I'm going to do something about a weapon tier list. I had it up before, so I might keep an eye out for an updated version of that and uh yep hope you enjoy the video thanks